Buckingham Palace says Queen Elizabeth will not be making a public appearance at the Remembrance Day service after straining her back. Now, the event was expected to be the first time the British monarch was seen in public after doctors advised her to rest after she spent a night in the hospital last month. Let's get to CNN's Max Foster. He's live from Hampshire, England. Max, the report is that she strained her back. Do, do we know how? What, what else do we know about what she's going through? We're not being given any more information than that. And it was a last minute announcement. And there's a huge amount of attention on the Queen appearing, which we haven't seen her in public for such a long time. So everyone was very excited to see how she was doing. So it has raised a certain amount of concern. But we've spoken to our royal sources and we're being told that this back strain is unrelated to the reason that she's been cancelling other engagements recently. That was on medical advice that she needed to rest. So uh, they're calming tensions, really, to say that this is a completely different reason she was planning to go. Uh, the other reason, you know, as a Brit, it's surprising not to see her here, is this is one of the immovable events, really, in her diary. It's very much part of the rhythm of public life. She always tries to go. She served uh, in the military in World War II, of course, and she's only, uh, you know, missed this event six times in the past, twice because she was pregnant twi uh, and four times because uh, she was abroad. So it was really surprising not to see her there. But the, the source did address this when I spoke to them just a couple of hours ago. The Queen's deeply disappointed to miss the engagement which she considers one of the most significant engagements of the year. Just to add, Boris, that she has, despite the fact we haven't seen her in public, uh, she has been working still. She's been doing these remote engagements, uh, uh, Zoom calls, effectively, from Windsor Castle. They call that light duties, and I'm told by the source that she hopes to continue her light official duties next week. So they're trying to you know, address the concern, but not to over-worry people at the same time. Well, we hope that she recovers swiftly and that we'll see her out in public again soon. Max Foster, thank you so much. All right, let's talk more about this uh, with CNN royal commentator and historian Kate Williams. Uh, Kate, I mean, we know that this is a significant event for the Queen, something she does not like to miss. Are you concerned about her well-being right now? Yes, you're right. Um, just as Max was saying, Remembrance Sunday is so significant for her both as Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and as someone who served during World War II. Being there for the veterans is so important. It's really something that she would do anything to go to. And so it really does show how significant it is, how she she's not cancelling lightly. She's obviously in pain. She has back strain. I think a lot of us out there who have suffered from backache will really sympathise. And it simply is impossible for her. So it is worrying, I think, that the Queen really is in so much pain that she can't go to this because we often forget that she's 95. She's always in such marvellous health. She's got the health of a 40-year-old, not of a someone who's nearing 100. So it is really a, a poignant reminder that the Queen is, is, is nearing 100. She's not, not so young anymore. And really, the Remembrance Sunday event, I've been there a few times on the opposite balcony, and it is a long day of standing in the cold. If you have backache, it would be bad for you. I, you remind us of a very important point. The Queen uh, is 95 years old, and really it's remarkable just how sharp her mind is and the fact that her body seems to keep up most of the time, except for, you know, this uh, particular day. But at some point, like you're saying, I mean, it seems like she really needs uh, to slow down. What does this all mean for the future of the Queen's reign, Kate? Yes, you're right, because the Queen really has turned monarchy into a very active role. She's not like the monarchs before, who were very much more reserved at the palace, didn't do so much. She's been out and about, travelling, going... I mean, she's been around the world more than 40 times. She's travelling, she's doing outings. Her engagement schedule is exhausting for anyone who was 30, you know, 30, 40, 50 years younger, let alone for someone who's nearly 100. And so really now, I think she does have to really do more of what Max was saying, those light duties, more Zoom calls, more phone calls, because these huge amounts of travel, of voyaging, it really is quite a strain on her. And I think that, you know, she's as sharp as a tack. She's determined to be there. She wants to be the monarch, really, until she no longer, until she is no longer with us. But this is, you know, it is quite hard for her. And I think that, you know, we all admire the strength that she's got. We all admire her work ethic. But I think a lot of us are saying you can take a little bit of a step back, Your Majesty. You know, you don't have to be out doing things every day. We, we understand. Yeah, I oh, absolutely understand. Uh, and by the way, these are live pictures uh, there from London as the celebrations uh, is getting underway for Remembrance Day, which is a time uh, that the country stops to honor uh, British service members. Um, 
Kate, when do you think uh, we might see the Queen in public again? Yes, well, ever since she had her hospital stay three weeks ago, which was her first hospital stay in eight years, which is astonishing, really, her incredible health. Uh, we've seen her, you know, a couple of glimpses, her driving around Windsor, but we haven't seen her doing any public engagements, which is just why we were so looking forward to seeing her today. Um, I do expect we won't see her for the next couple of weeks. We'll see her on Zoom. We'll see her doing Zoom calls and Zoom speeches. But I think that we, she will hope really within two or three weeks to be doing some kind of in-person engagement, even if it is something a little more, uh, less of a strain, something at Buckingham Palace, which doesn't involve a huge amount of standing up. Because as we know, for back pain, there's really not much you can do apart from rest. You simply have to rest. You simply have to take it easy. And when you're the Queen, someone who is one of the most active people in the United Kingdom, that's going to be very difficult for her. Absolutely. And I'm sure difficult for the people who are really looking forward to seeing the Queen uh, once again in public. And if my eyes are not deceiving me, uh, that looks to be Prince William uh, there on uh, the side greeting uh, the members, service members. All right, Kate Williams, we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for your perspective. Thank you.